Welcome to the web tutorial, Finding and Understanding NHATS Variables. First, let's go over what you can expect to learn. This video provides tips on how to locate and understand variables available in NHATS. We will review four types of documentation available to users including the user guide, the instruments or questionnaires, the instrument variable crosswalks, and the NHATS cross-year search available through Collectica. All materials are available through the NHATS website. The user guide is important for both beginners and seasoned data users. It provides background about NHATS, the conceptual framework, and key design features of the study. It also contains content documentation with an overview of each section of the study. And it documents the steps used to create derived variables that NHATS provides to users. Let's look at how the user guide might be helpful. A data user might be interested in understanding the help that a sample person receives with walking. Let's search the user guide for walk. We see this appears in several sections of the content documentation, including under mobility devices, physical capacity, mobility, duration of mobility accommodations, driving and transportation, participation in activities, physical performance, and the physical activities booklet. Let's say we are interested in going outside. The user guide tells us that there is a sequence of questions about going outside in the MO or mobility section. Searching for MO, we see a short explanation of this section and a table summarizing MO section questions by activity. If we search for the derived variable overview, we get a brief description of the derived variables available in this MO section. To see the derived variables in the MO section, search MO section. Here we can see, for instance, that MOD outside SFDF, a derived variable capturing difficulty going outside by oneself, is created using MO6, MO7, and ResID. In the last column are the values and value labels for this variable. Derived variables capturing device use and help to go outside are also provided. Next, let's take a look at the NHATS instruments or questionnaires. The instruments convey the item numbers for each question, the question wording, differential displays, and allowable response options, and skip patterns throughout the questionnaire. If a show card was used with the question, that number will appear on the instrument. NHATS has also added variable names to the instruments, linking the questions with the variables. Derived variables appear at the end of each instrument section. Let's take a look at an example. Let's take a look at getting outside, which as we know is in the MO or mobility section. After a brief introduction at MO1 PRE, the item MO1 asks, in the last month, how often did you go outside? Would you say every day, most days, some days, rarely, or never? The words that fill the question depend on the information displayed above the question text. That is, if the SP is deceased, the question asks, in the last month of his or her life, how often did the sample person go outside? If the sample person is alive, they are either asked, in the last month, how often did you leave your home to go outside? Or in the last month, how often did you leave your building to go outside? Building appears instead of home if they live in a multi-unit building to make it clear that the question is not asking about leaving the unit to go into the building. Below the question are some possible answers. Note this question has a show card M01 that is given to the sample person. After the question is answered, a flag is set to indicate the SP did not leave their home. All respondents go directly to box M02. If they skipped to different places, the item numbers to which they skip would appear in the right of the answer option. M01 has been provided to users in the variable MO9OUTOFT. This is the original variable. If we scroll to the end of the MO section, you will see a box with derived variables created from items in the MO section. The first three variables are about difficulty, devices, and help going out. 
You also see the flag variable that they did not leave the home in the box below the derived variables. Next, let's take a look at the instrument variable crosswalks, also known as just the crosswalks. The crosswalks provide an easy to use source linking the items in the questionnaire to variables in the NHATS files. The crosswalks show the item, where the variable is located, that is, in which data file, the variable name and label, and whether the variable is available for deceased SPs as a part of the last month of life interview, and whether the variable is new in the current round. Let's take a look at an example. In addition to the crosswalks available for each round, there are also crosswalks for changes that may occur between the early beta and final release files. Note that the crosswalks are available in either PDF or Excel. Let's open the Excel version, which can be filtered if needed. Let's take a look at the crosswalk entry for MO1. Let's filter so we just see the MO items. We could also filter the variable names on MO9, but then we would not see flags that start with FL9. Questions about mobility are located in the SP file. MO1 is used to create MO9 OUT OFT and is available as part of the last month of life interview. Scrolling down to the end of the MO section, we see the derived variables and flag variables set in this section. NHATS has partnered with Collectica to provide users with cross-year searches for variable level information. To access Collectica, click the cross-year search button on the NHATS website. Users must register separately for the Collectica website. Let's take a quick look at Collectica. Let's look again at the Mobility or MO section. You can see the mobility questions at the top of the page on the left-hand side and along the top of the web page in each round of NHATS. Users can see that the variable names for how often the SP went out are the same across rounds. For instance, in round 1, it is M01OUTOFT, and in round 2, M02OUTOFT. Users can add the variable to their basket by clicking the plus sign next to the variable. Collectica also shows the question wording and answers for each round by clicking the variable name. For more information on conducting cross-year searches with Collectica, see the technical guide available on the NHATS website. This tutorial was produced by Sarah Patterson, Men Hu, and Vicki Friedman with funding from the National Institute on Aging. This ends the Finding and Understanding NHATS Variables web tutorial. Comments and questions can be sent to nhatsdata at westat.com.